Hello, and welcome to Moonstone Mountaineer. My name is Gina, and I'm really excited to have you here. Today, we'll be looking at the Yosemite Bug Rustic Mountain Resort, the spa that they have there, and the June Bug Cafe. This is a favorite place amongst locals to get healthy food, to relax, and to just enjoy the evening after a hard day's work. It's also a wonderful place to visit if you are visiting Yosemite National Park. There's a lot of amenities here. There's a lot of different places to stay, and it's just all around a good place to be. To begin with, Victor and I actually booked one of the private aromatic soaking baths. There were three soaks to choose from, and we actually ended up choosing the Skin Renewal Soak. Um, I personally like this soak the best because there's also a scrub that's included, an oatmeal scrub. So our little ADHD brains have something to do while we're sitting in the bath for an hour. The reason that we visited the bug on this specific day was actually because it's Victor's birthday. Happy birthday, Victor. And I really wanted to treat him to something special. And let me tell you, this private soak for two was incredibly magical and very relaxing after a hard day at work. The Yosemite bug is popular with climbers, and I know that these soaks are really nice after a climb or even a hike in Yosemite Valley. Also offered at the spa are massages, um, one of which is actually for climbers. While we didn't get any massages on this trip, it's definitely on our list of things to do next time we visit. Included in our purchase for the private soak was actually access to the spa for the day, which includes the hot tub, a sauna, and refreshments. If you didn't want the private soaks and you just wanted the spa day pass, it only cost $20 for all of these amenities. And no, you don't have to be staying at the resort for you to purchase this spa day pass. Another amenity of the spa is that they do offer scheduled yoga classes. However, Victor and I have never been able to get to the bug during those times. We would enjoy that, however, if we could. After our relaxing time at the spa, we just hung out over on the deck for a while, looked at the view, and enjoyed just each other's company and relaxing after the soaks. From there, it was time for dinner, and I was excited to treat Victor to a nice birthday meal. The Yosemite bug is really good, or the June bug, I should say, is a really good place to get a healthy meal that is very delicious. The June Bug Cafe has a menu that changes day to day, and every single thing that I've ever tried here has been absolutely astounding and I highly recommend eating here. I know that both locals from Mariposa and from Yosemite Valley and El Portel all drive to Yo the Yosemite Bug to the June Bug Cafe for meals from time to time. It's worth the drive. If you're on your way out of Yosemite, definitely stop by. They also have breakfast and lunch as well, so maybe if you're on your way in, it's worth a shot uh, to try. I personally have never tried their breakfast or lunch, however I hear good things. Well, I got the salmon, Victor got the pasta, and we were very happy with our meal. And after that, we did get some peanut butter chocolate cream pie. Now on this specific adventure, we were not staying the night, however we have stayed at the Yosemite Bug before. The one time that we did stay before, we stayed in one of the tents. I like the variation that the Yosemite Bug Rustic Mountain Resort has between affordable accommodations and also just like higher end accommodations like cabins. They range from hostel setting to cabins, which is just really nice. So you could have your own private cabin if you'd like, or if you're on a budget, say if you're a climber, if you're just you know, a dirt bag, you can stay in the hostel. Maybe if you're a couple who, like Victor and I, who have um, not the biggest budget in the world, you can just stay in one of the private tents. Um, and that was a really good option for us. We really enjoyed our stay there. The bed was very comfortable. 
All right, guys, and that concludes our day trip to the Yosemite Bug Resort and Spa. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe. I am a small creator who is trying very hard to get information about Yosemite and other travel destinations out there for you guys. Um, if my video helped you at all in deciding where to stay, where to eat, what to do, um, or if you just have any questions or comments, please just comment below um, and please like and subscribe. Thank you guys.